Hear now the tale of Black Annis. Annis has borne many names over the years, from Black Agnes and Black Anna, to Black Annie and even Cat Anna. Her dwelling was a cave called Black Annis Bower in the low-lying Dane Hills on the outskirts of Leicester. Annis is supposed to have clawed the cave out of the sandstone using her long, very sharp talons. At its mouth grew a pollarded oak in whose branches Black Annis would crouch, ready to pounce on unsuspecting children. These she would carry off into her cave where she would suck them dry of their blood and eat their flesh, before draping the flayed skins of her victims out to dry on the oak's branches. Once dry, she would add them to her skirt, sewn from the skins of the children she had killed before. Black Annis herself was a witch with a blue face and claws made of iron. She had long spindly arms which she would use to reach in through people's windows to snatch their children in the night. Many a generation of Lester's young, if even naughty or out after dark, were told, Watch out, or Annis will get you. Annis's howls could be heard up to five miles away and when she ground her teeth the sound was so loud that all the people had time to lock and bar their doors. As windows had no glass in those days, bunches of witch herbs were tied above the aperture to stop Annis reaching inside. It is said that this is why Leicester cottages had only one small window. 18th century Leicestershire poet John Hayrick Jr. wrote of her, Vast talons, foul with human flesh, there grew in place of hands, and features livid blue glared in her visage, while the obscene waist warm skins of human victims close embraced. Here ends a tale of Black Annis. So bar your door, turn up the lights, and hold your children close, and listen for the howls of Annis in the night. Farewell. I hope you enjoyed that short tale of Black Annis. If you did, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Join me again sometime for another pint of ale and another story from the folklore of the British Isles.